Does Kim Jong-un have a convincing reason to completely denuclearize? I think that if Kim Jong-un wants to be viewed as a respected and legitimate leader in the international community, he has to denuclearize because what he's communicated in continuing his nuclear program and his missile program is that he's willing to uh, flout international law and obligations that North Korea, Pyongyang's leadership, has actually already acceded to through the non-proliferation treaty and otherwise. And so they're demonstrating that they're not a respectable actor, that they don't keep their word. And so I think I think that Kim Jong-un, who is looking at the long-term game, he's 30 years old, he wants to be in power over the long term. If he doesn't want to receive pushback from others in the international community, he should seriously consider not only denuclearizing, but shoring up his horrific human rights track record, which also calls his legitimacy into question. Absolutely. And I've got about 30 more seconds for you, just if you could sum it up for me. Uh, you're there in Japan. How has Prime Minister Shinzo Abe reacted to this second summit and now the cancellation of more military? exercises. Also, how is this new development assessed by China, Russia, and South Korea? I think that our allies, especially Japan and South Korea, are fairly concerned that the Hanoi summit didn't result in any specific deliverables. And I think that that's why the Trump administration needs to say, okay, Hanoi didn't go so well. Time to go back to a maximum pressure strategy, one that pushes North Korea. We know now that they care about getting sanctions relief, yet another motivation for them to come to the negotiating table. We need to press them and truly make this maximum pressure by targeting Chinese banks and by raising raising those thorny human rights issues that the administration has in recent months been reluctant to raise. Interesting. Well, I started out by saying uh, good night, so now I'll say good morning since, I don't know, you're probably upside down. So, <laughs> hayo gozaimasu. Uh, Olivia Enos, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And thank one of, you.